Let's discuss the new optional helper within Laravel 5.5. And I'm gonna show you an example of how I've been using this just to clear up my views. So the first thing is I have Laravel 5.5 installed. Uh, I have authentication generated and I'm currently signed in. What we're gonna do is just head over to the command line and we're gonna make some kind of model in here, uh, something that has a one-to-one -one relationship. So for example, in this case to a user, a user probably just has one address. Um, and this is gonna demonstrate nicely how we output that user's address if it exists. And I'll explain more in a minute. So I'm generating this uh, along with the migration. Let's go over to the addresses table migration and we will quickly fill this in. Uh, it's a bit of a long example, but it will uh, give you a good idea as to how this works. So let's go ahead and just assume we have a postcode for this. And of course, we're also gonna have a user ID as well. So this will relate to a particular user. Let's go ahead and add in that user ID. And in this case, this could be a one-to-many because of course you are including the foreign key here uh, but in this case it doesn't really matter too much it's uh, just to demonstrate this out okay so let's go ahead and migrate this so php artisan migrate and what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill in a user address immediately so uh, the user i have here has an id of one so let's go ahead and fill this in and we'll just put this in here as anything and let's save this out and uh, i'll go ahead and fill these in just so we don't see any problems so let's fill these two dates in okay so now what I want to do is over on my dashboard so over on home.blade.php I just want to go ahead and output the address of the user here so this might involve some kind of invoice something like that where we want to output uh, the user's address now in this case if the user doesn't have an address we're going to see a problem so let's just go ahead and output the postcode here using the auth helper function we'll access the user's address and then we'll grab their postcode so this is something that we would typically want to do and of course if we just set the relationship up here before we do anything else so let's create a address relation and let's go ahead and return that this has one and pass in the address model namespace string in there okay so we see the postcode that's absolutely great but in this case if the user doesn't have a postcode or sorry doesn't have an address we're going to see an error so or of, of course trying to get a property of a non-object because with the has uh, one relationship this won't return a laravel collection it will return either an address model or it will return null so essentially what we're getting here is null okay so how do we rectify this well previously what we would have to do is say if auth user address or if you're just doing this within a controller of course you can assign uh, the user to a local variable and then of course we would end the if there and we could do that for every single property of this user's address so their postcode the address line one so on and so forth so that goes ahead and fixes the problem until we go ahead and add address back in now the only issue with this is we're having to wrap this in an if statement and ideally we don't want to do that so this uh, optional helper can have uses outside of inside of your views it doesn't really matter but in this case what we do is we take what we're trying to access like so we go ahead and wrap this inside of the optional helper and then try and access something on here. Now we're gonna take a look at the optional helper in just a minute and see how this works. But essentially what this is gonna do is it's gonna introduce a dynamic getter on whatever we've passed into the optional helper function. And that means that if the uh, property we're trying to access doesn't exist, it's just gonna go ahead and silently return null. So you can see here that we've already fixed up the problem using that helper. Okay, so let's add an address back in just so we can see that this is definitely working. So I'll just add anything in here and let's save this out, head over here and you'll notice that works in exactly the same way. So that's pretty much the optional helper, but let's dive in just to see how this looks. So you can use it with uh, perhaps other things, objects you've created yourself. So let's open up the helpers.php file over in Illuminate support and let's come down to optional. Now it looks like this is returning a new optional class. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what this does. Okay, so of course into the constructor here, we're passing over the value that we're giving. In this case, it could either be a, a user object, an address object, null, it could be absolutely anything. So we're assigning that to value just up here. Now down here, we have this dynamic getter, which allows us to check if this is an object first of all, because of course the point of the optional helper is to return null silently if we have a property that doesn't exist or the actual object itself doesn't exist. We're checking it's an object first, which in this case, uh, it might not be. So for example, null would be returned if that 
user uh, relationship just doesn't exist. Well, if it is an object, we're going ahead and returning the key from that object. Otherwise, down here, obviously we're not doing anything, but we're essentially just doing this. We're just returning nothing. So that is how it works. We pass in a value and it tries to give us out something. Otherwise, it silently returns us null. Just to further demonstrate this, if I was to pass in null into optional and try and access a property from here, notice that it still just silently fails. Where, of course, if we were trying to say, well, I want to get the postcode property from the value null, of course, this is just, you know, not valid syntax, but hopefully you get the idea. So if you are doing something like that and wrapping loads of ifs, uh, into your uh, views and wrapping things in lots of ifs, then the optional helper is really going to help you out. And of course, you can use this absolutely anywhere. It's not just limited to views. Uh, so you can use that to further tidy up your code.